assalamu alaikum class how are you i hope you all are fine okay uh, today's our topic is polar and non polar covalent bond and it's a topic of your unit number 4 structure of a molecules now uh, start uh, today's lecture so uh, before uh, we go in a uh, in explanation we should know what is the meaning of uh, polar and non polar covalent bond okay before uh, we go in detail we uh, should also know what is the meaning of covalent bond the bond that is uh, that formed due to the sharing of electron due to the mutual sharing of electron is known as covalent bond okay let us take the example uh, for example hydrogen and chlorine okay so uh, these uh, two atoms uh, are unstable because these uh, their uh, outermost shell and has uh, uh, unpaired electrons so they both need one electron to stable uh, to stable itself and to complete its uh, outermost electrons and um, outermost electrons and outermost shell so uh, both need uh, uh, need an electron so uh, both has one unpaired electron and chlorine has also one paired electron so both um atoms share the electrons okay so these two these pairs of electrons are mutually shared between the hydrogen and chlorine okay so the bond that is formed between the mutual due to the mutual sharing of electron is known as covalent bond okay so now come to the topic if a covalent bond is formed between two similar atoms homo atoms homo atoms means same atoms just like the hydrogen and hydrogen okay the shared pair of electron is attracted by both the atoms equally it's a common it's a common uh, uh, common thing that when two atoms when two homo atoms are uh, try to combine with each other they uh, attract the electrons with equal force because both need one electron to complete its unpaired electron so both apply the equal energy or equal force of attraction to attract the electron okay so such type of bond is called non polar covalent bond because both apply the equal attract uh, force of attraction okay now see this example you understand it more cle more clearly for example this is a hydrogen and this is a hydrogen both have one both have a one uh, one unpaired electron this hydrogen has also one pair one unpaired electron this hydrogen has also one pair electron so both share the electron okay so these two atoms apply equal force of attraction to uh, to share this electrons okay so uh, this hydrogen apply the force of attraction in this direction and this hydrogen apply the force of attraction in this direction uh, this uh, try to move the electron in that direction and move this uh, inward and move uh, in that side and this hydrogen uh, uh, attract the electron and move towards the opposite directions okay so both apply the equal force of attraction that's why the this bond is known as non polar covalent bond because non uh, Uh, there is no polarity uh, produced uh, um, uh, in the atoms uh, due to the equal sharing of electrons okay uh, the due to the equal force of attraction these bonds are formed by equal sharing of electron pair between two bonding atom this type of bond is called a pure covalent bond for example bond formation in hydrogen and chlorine okay so uh, as i already described this example uh, this example of hydrogen so now come to the next paragraph if the covalent bond is formed between two different types of atoms means 
हेट्रो एटम्स हेट्रो एटम्स मीन्स वन इज हाइड्रोजन एंड वन इज कलोरिन दीज आर द टू डिफरेंट एटम्स इफ द बॉन्ड इज बिटवीन इज इज फॉर्म बिटवीन टू ऑपोजिट एटम्स देन द बॉन्ड पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल नॉट अटैच इक्वली will attracted will not be attracted equally by the bonded atoms because hydrogen um hydrogen is less electronegative as compared to chlorine okay so what is the meaning of electronegativity as i already learned in the previous chapter that the uh, ability of an atom to attract the shared paired of electron is known as electronegativity so chlorine has more electronegative power as compared to hydrogen so uh, it attract the let us change the color uh, so there is a electron between these two atoms the chlorine attract the electrons uh, more um, with more power as compared to hydrogen because the hydrogen has less electronegative capacity as compared to chlorine so there is a Uh, there is there is a po uh, pole uh, create uh, due to the due to the different uh, uh, force of attraction okay one of the atoms will attract the bond pair of electrons more strongly than the other one okay this atom will be called as more electronegative the uh, atom that attract with the more strong uh, strong power is now is known as more electronegative atoms okay when there is a difference of electronegativity between two covalently bonded atoms there will be unequal attraction for the bond of electrons as i already told you between such electronegativity of hydrogen and chlorine okay so is 1.0 okay so there is a basically there is a, a, a different there is a, a very a minor difference but uh, this difference is a very high due because it's a matter of a attraction okay uh, now see the see the force of attraction see the force of electronegativity uh, electronegativity of hydrogen is 2.2 and uh, electronegativity of chlorine is 3.2 so there is a difference of 1.0 okay so due to this difference the uh, chlorine attract the positive attract the electrons with the more power as compared to hydrogen okay so and there is a pole exist uh, there is a pole create see this these are the poles this is the this pole is created due to the electronegative character and this pole is also created due to the electronegative character but hydrogen has less electronegative character that's why it attain the positive charge and the chlorine has a, a high electronegative character that's why it attain the negative charge okay so as the electronegativity is more it attract the shared pair of electron towards itself with a greater force a partial negative charge is therefore created on chlorine and in turn a partial positive charge on hydrogen due to electronegativity difference okay it creates polarity and the bond that is formed due to the polarity is known as polar covalent bond okay the delta this this sign is for the delta the delta sign a is used for the partial positive and negative charge partial mean half okay so partial positive and negative charge is created due to the force of attraction um the compounds resulting for from polar covalent bonds are called polar compounds okay for example hydrogen uh, fluoride uh, hydrogen chloride and water okay see these examples these are the polar compounds because this bond is formed between the two different atoms between two between heteroatomic atoms okay so these examples are for the polar compounds okay by using by using electronegativity values it is possible to predict whether a chemical bond will be ionic or covalent in nature okay due to the electronegativity difference there is a uh, pole create okay so we can say that it all it all depends on the electronegativity difference and electronegativity power a bond formed between elements of high uh, electronegativity halogen group and elements of a low electronegativity alkali metals 
okay so um, uh, polar bond is always exist between the uh, less electronegative um, atom and uh, uh, atom and uh, with the low electronegative uh, atom okay so um, there is a complete transfer of electron between them the bond between atoms of a comparable electronegative will be covalent in nature as a bond between carbon and hydrogen in methane or nitrogen and hydrogen in ammonia okay just like that uh, uh, there the bond that is between the opposite uh, between the different atoms are uh, are more uh, are more covalent in nature as compared to the bond that is formed between the similar atoms okay so let us uh, uh, study the uh, definition if the difference of electronegativity between two element is more than 1.7 the bond between them will be will be uh, predominantly ionic bond okay and if it is less than 1.7 the bond between two atoms will be predominantly covalent okay so this is a very important uh, for the m uh, for the mcqs and for uh, for the board point of view now today's lecture is over now i hope you understand this con this uh, very interesting topic and this very interesting uh, concept polar and non polar covalent bond take care allah hafiz